Okie dokie. Let's talk about lists in Markdown. So, uh, you may have noticed the theme from images and links. There's a couple of different ways to do things in Markdown. That's the same for unordered lists um, where you can use hyphens. Um, Uh, you can use asterisks and you can use pluses. Okay, uh, but you notice here, these seem to have like a, a gap between them because these aren't recognized as the same list. Um, so the sort of convention, I always go with hyphens. Notice they've all sort of Group together there. Um, so pick one, stick with it, and um, good to go. Okay, ordered lists. Um, so you would think you'd make an ordered list. Um, so you'd have item one. Um, and then for the next time, I think you just do. Um, Well, it's not because, I mean, even though it does say two here, what if two gets moved up to, um, you know, the first one? Then we've got some weird sort of rendering going on here with two and three. Um, what you can do, just use one. So um, then it doesn't matter what order you put them in. Um, then you can sort of move these around and then numbering's not an issue. So um, that is the um, best way to do it in ordered lists. Um, when it gets to sort of stepping stuff in, um, again, you just have it as one, then that's fine. And the same for stepping it in there. So that's for nesting. Um, fine. Um, I didn't have a nesting with unordered lists, same. Um, and just the CSS will change um, on how you indent it. I think that the uh, the markdown parser deals with that. So um, I'm not sure how many, uh, how far you can sort of nest it inwards. There is another thing to cover where say with this uh, second item here, we want to put in some, uh, like a subheading. And rather than um, uh, putting a lot of information sort of after it, uh, like say you've got complex steps, then you can save this Another tab here, one of here, and then we could have that here. Need to and that it saved. We noticed that information there is sort of grouped with this heading. Uh, that was how you would. <clears throat> sort of do stuff in like if you have a lot of detailed information in a big list of uh, items like that okay uh so that is it for lists um i think in the next one we'll cover checkboxes um which should be a quite a, a short one but, um we'll do that in the next one that's it for this one thanks bye bye